Ten games should have been more than enough for Derby County supporters to appreciate the value of England's goalkeeper, Peter Shilton. Five times that number, watching a man of lesser fame is probably now a cause for concern. For Eric Steele, who guarded Derby's second division championship claim at the end of last season, can, on his day or night, stand comparison with any of his profession. And tonight, his former colleagues have to beat him to stay alive. The task is made no easier by the absence in their lineup of Bobby Davison. He was sent off in the first leg and is now suspended. Andy Garner, usually a substitute, starts a game for a change alongside Phil G, who's yet to score at the baseball ground this season. Southend's team is the same as that chosen for the first leg, but they're a side in very different heart. Before then, they'd won just once and lost six games in succession. Since, with Paul Clark back as player manager, they put together three wins and a draw. Roy McDonough's 28th minute penalty past Shilton started the revival. The referee is Peter Tilsley, who comes from Stockport, and we have a typical English evening for what promises to be a typical English cup tie. It's fairly damp, rain in the last hour or so, and there's a lot at stake. First long clearance, and a little bit of a slip, but a good recovery. By Burrows, one of two players in the South End lineup who's on loan, and Mark Wright loses out. And what a pity the early touch of McDonough wasn't better. They were clean through if McDonough had been able to control the ball as it came across to him. Mark Wright was a spectator. Stephen Cross. the free kicks going to the home side Callahan to take it and a free header that's wide Callahan's side footer it was met very solidly indeed and it would have beaten the goalkeeper This is Martin Robinson, former Spurs and Charlton player. A little bit fortunate, perhaps. But he's gone on the overlap as Peter Johnson. He's still there if he's wanted. And here's Pennyfather. Oh, that's a good strike and a good save. Shilton right on his six-yard line. But there was a lot of space for the man coming forward. And he had no hesitation in striking it first time. McDonough, who played it across, it was a very good shot and a fine save. McDonough, the player on the near post. Callahan's headed clearance. Go kick. Martin, it's just an up and under which could have an awkward bounce and McDonough was looking for precisely that free kick given against Link the South end attack certainly looking sharper than the Derby County defence look at the number 10 McDonough he read that very well and it was enough to put Shilton off Johnson. Oh, rather gave it away. G. Martin Robinson. Oh, what a good save! It was Garner's shot. 
south end certainly let down first by Johnson and then by Robinson couldn't make it what a good stop so the former Derby County goalkeeper matching the present one one good save apiece Gregory not a good clearance again played by Ling and the Derby crowd since the breakthrough Robinson Leons is the referee what a good decision by him and G is wide as he loses his right boot goes off in search of the boot which went one side of the goal as the ball went the other and the goalkeeper <laughs> not moved by either because McLaren and uh, and Nogan were exchanging something which wasn't exactly pleasant to us. Right. Not the best of shots. Well up by Wesley. Cross! <laughs> the sort of thing that you were looking for in the top corner and found that uh, Steele had made it look very easy to save. Beautiful catch. Plenty of room for the cross, precisely played into the path of Callahan by Gregory. Lovely catch. Free kick. Against G. On Hall. But the spirit is very good. Very competitive, very busy cup tie. Plenty of action. But nothing on the score sheet. Match six players were booked, but uh, the referee here has done really well, allowing the game to flow. On by Wesley McDonough. Well, Derby will be somewhat relieved. Got a hand slipped by Johnson, which could be costly. G far side. Should one criticise him for blazing away at the ball? He obviously saw enough of the goal, but look where G was. Gregory. Risky, but worked. Good challenge by Penny Father again. I think he's been the man of the match in this first period. Really has had a fine first 45 minutes, which ends scoreless, partly due to the two goalkeepers living up to their bidding. One fine save from each of them. So half time nil nil, which means that South End United retained their precious one goal advantage for the first leg. Derby County's Ram has twice celebrated the championship title, but they have never won the Football League Cup in any of its guises. The best they achieved was to reach the semi-final in season 67-68. Here's a man hoping to put them out in round two this season. Good cover by uh, McLaren. Thank you. 
Callahan. He's got three up. Well, he's escaped now a couple of times. Peter Johnson, the fullback. Really, it was not a very good challenge. David Penny is the substitute waiting to play a part. Gordon Guthrie showing the number 11. Stephen Cross is the man replaced. had an hour of the match still nil nil Logan threatens to change that and Shilton did very well cost Logan a bit too Williams and the advantage allowed by the referee Callahan trying his chance on this side Williams Callahan. Oh, a little bit of afters. Callahan and Martin. And the referee, as they wait for the corner, the referee wants to sort it out. enjoying his evening well the G is I don't know desperate for the goal Penny Father really has been an inspiration to his side Three minutes on the clock. Everybody forward for Derby. Comes to right awkwardly. They can make a break here, South End. McDonough, whose goal divides the teams, is the man in possession. Two coming up to help. A moment to slip. Williams to start Derby again. That's just the chase. Burrows checks. He plays it very calmly to Wesley, who loses it to Callahan. And in the end, G really missed kicks. For 
they survived in spite of themselves then south end and that hasn't often been the case i also think there were a few tugs on the beard then south end ball under two minutes really has been an enthralling match one of the best nil nils i've seen for many a long day derby have had all the possession nearly in this second period but in truth they haven't really been able to see the whites of steel's eyes and here comes lean that came off uh, blades for the corner Cox can't keep still, but then he can't, whatever's happening. And having got his side from the third to the first in consecutive seasons. This is a disappointing slap in the face early in the new season. Right. Yes. Just an attacker now, G. Wesley, Wright, Penny, and it's just a question of what the referee has allowed. McLaren needs to keep it in. Williams. And they can't dig it out of their own half. McLaren. On for Penny. Four waiting. McLaren. Gregory. And he applauds the ball in. But will be disappointed with his finish. This sort of thing players practice a lot. The ball knocked in. Turn and strike at goal. But that time he couldn't keep it down. And it may be Derby's last chance. South end throw. It's a memorable success for South End United. Paul Clark rushes on to congratulate his team. And certainly they have deserved their success. Peter Shilton goes to shake hands with the opposition. He'll be disappointed, but it's a cold shower from which Derby will surely recover. And it's a success for Southend United, who haven't had much in their years 